Did Arkansas put an innocent man to death? That's the question raised by newly tested DNA evidence. And thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Craig O'Neill. And I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. Liddell Lee maintained his innocence throughout his life up to the day of his execution back in 2017. You'll remember four years ago this month, Arkansas attempted something that had never been done before to execute eight death row inmates over a span of 11 days to beat the expiration date of one of the drugs in the lethal injection cocktail. Ultimately, four of them were put to death by lethal injection. The first was Liddell Lee. He'd been on death row for 22 years for the murder of 26 year old Deborah Reese in 1993. But as THV 11's Ashley Godwin shows us, new test results may cast doubt on his guilt. New evidence shows that Liddell Lee may not have been the only person there at the time of Deborah Reese's death. In fact, attorneys say that there was no physical evidence that connected Lee to her murder. Four years after Liddell Lee's execution, new evidence requested by the Innocence Project and ACLU shows Lee's DNA was not on the wooden club or a bloody shirt found at the crime scene. According to the test results, DNA of an unknown male was found. I immediately thought that this is something that we needed to determine and establish before we executed him back in 2017. For Rhonda Brassfield, a local attorney who followed the case closely, protested against Lee's execution for lack of definitive proof. When we begged um, the attorney general not to set these dates or not to ask the governor for these dates to be set, not only the state of Arkansas, but any state, before you're going to execute someone, that you examine all of the evidence carefully, and um, especially DNA evidence, because we know now that DNA evidence can be compelling and, and it can be definitive to say one way or, or the other. In a statement given to THV 11, Attorney General Leslie Rutledge said the courts consistently rejected Liddell Lee's frivolous claims because the evidence demonstrated beyond any shadow of a doubt that he murdered Deborah Reese by beating her to death inside her home with a tire thumper. After 20 years, I am prayerful that Deborah's family has had closure following his lawful execution in 2017. My heart goes out to um, all of um, all of the folks that are involved in this case, um, the victim's family, for Liddell Lee's family. Um, I can only imagine what they're going through. They begged and pleaded to have this DNA evidence um, examined before their loved one was, was executed by the state of Arkansas. In Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News.